guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl abby so in today's video i'm going to be talking about mistakes to avoid as a content creator or an influencer so before i go right into this video if this is your first time on my channel hi welcome my name is abby mbola on my channel i do a lot of tutorials hauls reviews tips and tricks editing business series etc so i hope you're gonna enjoy your stay on my channel and i hope you're gonna have a look at my other videos please if you haven't subscribed make sure that you click the red button and the bell icon to get notifications for when i post you can also find me on instagram my instagram name is gonna be on the screen and in the description bar below as well so without any further ado let's jump right into this video the first mistake that people make is using how to remember usernames or usernames that are not memorable or easy to find. So you want to make sure that your username is something that is easy to find and doesn't have a lot of like underscores or X's going on. It's going to be harder for people to find you because Instagram will only suggest names that are closer to what people are typing. So say, um, for example, your name is Abby. The moment you start typing A-B-B-I-E, it's going to bring out all the Abbeys. The moment you add two underscores and X's in front, your name is not going to be suggested among the top ranks. You want to make sure that your username is memorable, easy to remember. If people want to search for you, they can just type up your name and find you anywhere. And also, I always suggest that you use the same username across your social platforms. So, you say you use a particular name on Instagram, you want to use the same name on YouTube, on Twitter, or TikTok, Pinterest, because that way it's easy for people to find you. So make sure that your usernames are the same across all platforms. It makes it easier for people to find you on other platforms as well also guys remember that your tagline so that's the place where instagram asks you to put your name make sure that it's something seo friendly so you don't really want to write your name there yes they ask you to put your name there but if you want to put say for example you're a content creator living in scotland so you can just type scotland content creator there so in case someone goes on google or maybe on instagram and searches that your name comes up or your account comes up on that so the second mistake that people make is faking their engagement or following this is year 2021 and we're still talking about this and it's so ridiculous that we still have to talk about this but please for the sake of yourself and your accounts and your brand you want to make sure that you are not faking the followers or the engagements or using bots and stuff like that because it's really really going to do more harm than good if you want to fake it so uh, you know entice brands unfortunately for you brands use a lot of auditing tools to actually check if someone is legit or not so you want to grow your social presence as authentically and as organic as possible no use of bots or fake followers or fake engagements or fake comments because let me tell you something people can smell that from a mile away yes that people can do the whole thing all around you know buy the followers and they fake the engagement so everything adds up you know that's that's good that's 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 okay that's okay for you but if you want to make it as a content creator or an influencer you want to be as authentic as possible because brands are looking for that they are not looking for bots they're not looking for fake accounts and also guys you're putting yourself out there to real life people so why do you want to fake it because if you're faking it if you're faking the audience and all then real people are not seeing your work and you want real people to see your work so what do you do put your work out there use the right hashtag use the right captions you know promote yourself ask friends to promote you actually guys i have a video on how to grow your instagram account i'm gonna put it up there and it's gonna be on the description bar below as well so make sure you check that out on how you can organically grow your instagram account whilst on the topic of faking your followers and on audience make sure that you stay away from shady giveaways and stuff pods are not necessarily bad pods are not necessarily inauthentic but i would prefer people to comment or engage with my post because they really really want to or because they love my post or they really want to engage than people feeling obligated to do so yes pods are great you know people get a lot of engagement from using pods but the patterns are very obvious when you see uh content getting pod engagements you can just tell that it's a pod engagement and you know it just stands out from an actual content getting real you know real unobligated i don't know if that's the word unobligated um engagement so yeah pods are not necessarily bad but i tend to stay away from them i haven't i remember when pods started becoming a thing i jumped on that and it works for me but i realized that i wanted people who actually genuinely just wanted to engage and love my content because they see it and they love it so i decided to stop using it but yeah brands also watch out for that as well they tend to look at brands they tend to look for 
you know people are getting real genuine engagements rather than pods or uh, because people feel obligated to do so so the third mistake is not posting quality content consistently you want people to see your work you want people to engage when people you want to you want to blow up on social media so you need to put out good quality content something authentic you know we want to be your authentic self find your unique points what's so unique about you what's something different about you what's the different thing that you want to bring to the social space what's something new that people are not doing think about that think of something look at yourself you know your talents your skills how can you bring that into what you do you know you want to you want to you want people to see bring something high quality something of good quality of value try to invest into your craft try to invest into your business you know if you want to promote clothes buy some clothes take pictures tag the brands you know, if you're doing makeup, get ring lights, you know, just get ring lights. If you can't afford the ring lights, film during the day, bright lighting, natural lighting is great anyway. So yeah, your authentic self, uniqueness, things like that are going to get you really, really far. So mistake number four is not engaging with your audience or not having a social media personality. If you want an audience, you know, you have an audience they engage with you they love what you do they want to be there for you you want to give them something to work with so let's see your personality let's see the kind of person that you are you don't want to be that person that just posts and leaves no engagement not even trying to like bring in your audience and try to be one-on-one -on -one with them you know people comment on your post you're not know, replying comments excuse me you're not beyonce or rihanna okay <laughs> you're not a bigger celebrity yet okay so you want to engage with your audience you know it's literally give and take if you engage with others they're going to engage with you if you have a personality they're going to come in you're, gonna, you're just going to bring them in make use of your instagram stories make use of you know the questions the polls use the reels and stuff like that bring something fun bring out your personality if you like if you like to smile a lot smile in your pictures if you like to talk pull up your phone talk to your audience you know ask them questions what they think what they like what they want from you what what kinds of content they want to see from you engage engage interact and just be warm and be nice because people automatically are nice to you when you're nice to them so you don't want to make that mistake of being the diva please no <laughs> you're gonna get nowhere being a diva okay okay mistake number five is lack of honesty or transparency people do this a lot like i see a lot of this going on on social media people are being transparent you know lying about you know brand deals or sponsorships it's ridiculous don't be that person be honest be transparent if it's a paid deal say it's paid if it's sponsored say it's sponsored if it's not then don't say that i've seen people use the money to buy stuff and then use the hashtag ad or sponsored and i'm thinking girl <laughs> why do you have to lie it's ridiculous don't be like that okay <laughs> anyway on a serious note, um, you need to be very transparent with your audience. You know, if you have a deal with a brand, mention that you have a deal with a brand. If they're sponsoring you, make sure mention that it's a sponsored post. And also, guys, if you're working with a brand and you've had an agreement to, you know, make a post of an item that they're sending to you, even if they're not paying you, it makes sense to actually make a post. If you're gonna use the products if you don't like maybe if you try out the products and you don't like it communicate with the brand and let them know you know i've tried your products it didn't work so i'm sorry i don't think i can post it on my page i don't think i can promote it to my audience that's fine that's fair deal but if you use a product and you like it and you don't tag the brand that's a very unfair and dishonest thing to do and it's gonna give you a bad reputation in the whole brand influencer world because now this brand this brand this brand knows you as that person that collects items and don't post or don't do any promotion so you don't want to give yourself that kind of reputation be honest be transparent so you're gonna go far now we're gonna go to mistake number six six <laughs> final mistake to avoid is using bots or tools to follow and unfollow accounts spam comments dms and stuff 
Instagram is really, really cracking down on these tools and they really want to put an end to them. And at some point when you keep using those tools, your account is very liable to be shadow banned and you don't want to be shadow banned. You don't want your account to be blacklisted or pushed down the timeline. You know, people don't see your content, people don't see your stories, people don't see your posts. Please, 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 if you want to engage with people, engage, you know, engage with as many accounts as you can. But using um, these bots or tools to follow certain accounts and follow them is going to show a pattern. You know, Instagram is going to see the pattern and even the people are going to see the patterns. So I've seen a lot of people like come on my accounts, follow and then follow and then follow again. I'm just looking at them like, OK, when you're tired, you're going to leave. Or I just block them because I'm tired of seeing the follow and follow and follow and follow. Or, you know, if you drop in spam comments on the people's posts, you know, spam <laughs> spamish irrelevant comments so say someone posts a picture of a plant and another person comments oh your your travel looks so cool you can tell already that that's a bot comment that's a spam comment it's just some random comments dropped using the person's accounts because maybe the person used the tool because how is travel what does travel have to do with plants ridiculous <laughs> anyway do not stay away from using bots it's very possible that people even stop following you you lose loads and loads of followers so please 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 make sure that you stay away from them engage by yourself or obviously with limitations because it's like i normally would not let you over engage in a day if not then you're gonna put a temporary ban on your accounts from commenting or liking or sharing stuff until they feel like okay this is enough and this may take seven days two weeks months you never know you never know so you want to stay away from things or you want to stay away from things that violate instagram rules and laws so you don't get blacklisted basically anyway guys so we have come to the end of this video i hope you found it really useful i hope you've been able to pick a thing or two from this if you have any more points that you want to drop please make sure that you comment in the comment section below we'll be looking forward to that and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly do so now by clicking the red button and the bell icon to get notifications for when i post you don't want to miss out on all the gems that i drop okay <laughs> anyway i will see you in my next video bye